We got into master rank with Grand Marju Banish deck. Uh, currently on a one win streak. Three more wins, we can go up a level. Honestly, I mean, we had some bad times, but overall, they did all right here. What was the last deck I won against? Was it Snake Eyes? It was Snake Eyes. So the, the moral of the story is we can win against Snake Eyes. It's just a consistency thing. Uh, we're still playing the second turn version of Grand Marju, and uh, this is the version of the deck that got us into master rank. So the original skeleton of this deck we got from Master Dual Meta. Um, I've had little changes to it, not the hugest thing in the world. There's some stuff you could definitely change in this deck, but the whole idea is you you do these unorthodox plays to sort of your opponent doesn't quite know what's always going on, but you are trying to get out two level eight monsters. Tomias, thank you very much for the sub of the Twitch Prime. Thank you for the 27 bumps. 27 bumps, not bad. Not bad indeed. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for using your Prime here. But, I mean, we've got a bit of everything in here. Let's just go through them and what they do. So, Eater of Millions, its only real benefit is it can dump a ton of monsters into the Banish Zone if you want to get a big Grim Marjorie Dyser out. Uh, Eater of Millions has actually won me a game where I've got loads of cards banished. I've actually attacked the game with it. Um, but mainly, mainly you want to attack into problematic monsters that you don't want to go to the graveyard and you can banish them face down, which is really good against like um, snake eyes. You can get rid of some of the annoying snake eyes monsters, which is kind of nice. But each of millions sometimes can be used as a link material, but not very often. Triple maxi, if you draw it, you can use it and it's really good. Double dimension shifter, if you do draw it first turn, you're probably going to win the duel. Most likely, to be honest with you. Um, they are my hand traps. This is all my hand traps done. Uh, Grand Marju. If there's a million cards banished, this card has a million attack and you just attack the game. So sometimes you'll be cut off from doing a normal summon, which means you can't summon it because of Stromberg. So what you need to do then is you need to get out Muckcracker from the Underworld and special summon it from the grave. Um, we've got Dangers. We've got the Jackalope. Jackalope is a guaranteed um, special summon of a Danger Monster. So if you discard Jackalope with Jackalope's effect... Or with another monster's effect. You just special summon one of your level 8s. You're mainly just trying to get the level 8 uh, dangers out. Uh, one Suchinoko because it's adorable. Why not? Uh, two Nessies because Nessie can add Jackalope. Jackalope can get you one of these two. Guaranteed. Um, and then this one lets you... It's a level 8. lets you destroy a card on the opponent's of the field. It's a level 8. lets you destroy back row. Really good cards. Um, Glyph, the Phantom Bird, you discard it to add Golden Castle of Stromberg. You activate Golden Castle of Stromberg. You can't normal summon the turn you use it, but you can special summon a level 8 Hextrude. Hextrude lets you destroy a card on the opponent's side of the field, and then you're allowed to attack two monsters in a row with it. And then every time this monster destroys a monster, you can increase a monster's attack by 400 permanently. It's really cool. It's a really cool monster. It's a card you don't want to see in your opening hand. I have actually just limited it down to two now i'm kind of curious to see how that will go but there's only two of it now in the deck because it can be a little bit of brick sometimes but it's okay uh we're playing three kaijus uh two level eights these are the ones you summon to your side of the field and well they're all level eights actually never mind ignore me um because we're playing the interrupted kaiju slumber so it's a level eight and you can wipe your opponent's field speaking of wiping your opponent's field we have other cards like raigeki harpy's feather duster lightning storm change your heart and you can get all these cards with triple tactics thrust or still a monster with triple tactics talent uh alert to banish any other dark monsters um i decided to play a little bit of just two of the bestials i don't know why i just fancied it and then chat convinced me to use alpha the Ma master of beasts it's a level eight inherent summon easy to summon and everything so yeah um chat eventually convinced me to play draglubion Numeron Dragon and Harbinger to go for those quick and easy OTKs. I think it was definitely worth putting in because it has won me quite a few duels. Although it is really risky because if you get like Valid or whatever, Impermed, that's your Wing Kong gone. Um, you can get a very easy, so say Dingrisu, Dingirsu, send a card from your opponent's side of the field to the graveyard, attack. Upgrade into Pain Gainer, upgrade into Seven Sins, upgrade into Zeus. You can have an absolutely huge um, Zeus if you want to. Or even though people don't recommend it, you can leave Pain Gainer on the field. Your opponent takes 600 damage every time they activate a spell or a trap. So if you've got them down to 600 life points, that's probably the only time I'd recommend doing that. But I've never won with its effect, so it's probably better to just go for a massive Zeus. Um, everything else I don't really care about here. Muckcracker sees a little bit of play. 
I quite like zombie vampire, so I go for it every now and then. This sometimes sees some play if I steal a monster. And this has seen a bit of play against Snake Eyes. That's about it. And oh, yeah, yeah. Gizmek Orochi. Awesome card. Right. Uh, how much further can we climb? Let's find out. Kyushin. Thank you for the stream streak. Appreciate it. Cup of Ace for the giggles. I'm not that lucky. I'm really not. Two days ago, I played against a Runic Stun opponent. And I was able to beat them because they scooped. They almost decked me out. Just waiting to get enough points to show you. Okay. What did they do? Did they give up? How embarrassing. Right, so we're going second deck. So we don't mind losing the coin flip. This is a... Bit of a funky hand. Change your heart on a level 8 monster if we can steal one would be quite nice. Golden Castle of Stromberg into Hextrude, level 8. Pop a card on the opponent's side of the field. They'll probably have Salomon Great Roar or whatever it is face down. The Counter Trap. Hmm... And then I've got nothing to trade in. Let's see how things go. How's the house coming along? It's coming along. We're getting there. It's stressful, I'll tell you what. And... You know what that is? That's a little envelope of money. That's I've got to give away. It's because it's just all outcome. <laughs> I'm excited for it to be done, though. I'll show you around. Building or buying? Uh, building. I bought a house and we're renovating it at the moment. We're uh, we're on the the tail end though. We're on the uh, towards the end. We've put plaster. The new well, I've had all the new electrics, all the new plumbing. Uh, I had a part of the house rebuilt because it wasn't made very well. Um, I've had another part of the house very recently rebuilt because it was like. Um, it was like a garage in the house here. You can't see my angle. Garage, house, and then there was like a little connecting room, which was awful. It was it felt like um like a greenhouse or something. It didn't feel like a part of the house. So I ripped the wall out, um, uh, bricked it right through, bricked it across, and now it's a part of the house. Had to self-level all the floors, because the floor went flat, down, flat at an angle like this because it was just all over the place but it's all one level now which is really nice that was that was fun to do it was literally just get the perfect amount of water chuck the water in the bucket chuck a whole pack of self-leveling mix 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 throw it on the floor and then just do that non-stop and keep repeating until you just fill the whole uh room up and it just self-levels and just dries that was kind of cool i've had all new uh windows uh, just waiting for the living room windows to come now. God, windows are expensive. Door handles are expensive. Doors are expensive. Everything's expensive. <laughs> Don't do a renovation. It's not worth it. I have never seen... Oh, it's Salomon Great. That's why. Mm, sure. The problem is... Once I summon this level 8 monster, he's going to summon uh, Promethean. And he's going to use Promethean to pop that. But I guess you just have to bite the bullet with this one. There we go. It's no worries. Mm, can't make a Zeus yet. When does, uh, does Amphibious Swarm Ship get its effect? When does this destroy? This card is destroyed. You can target one Link 3. If a Link 3 or lower monsters... Can you use both? Can use both. Good mill. I need a good draw here. This is not ideal. Um... Zeus. 
He'll keep it alive. The right answer is Baguska. Oh, no, he can't target Baguska. That's supposed to have quite well because... I just go into Zeus now. The lighthouse work. I've done a ton. My life at the moment is really depressing because all it consists of, it's either doing stuff at the house, meeting people to do stuff at the house, uh, organizing stuff to do the house, YouTube. <laughs> That's it. I've had no free time. Absolutely none. But once it's done, it's done, and then it's all finished. You can just look back at it then. Do you think we'll be able to finish the house this year? Yeah, I think so. Optimistically, yeah. I think we'll be finished in six months. Use Glyph again. I use Glyph. I'll use Glyph again. Mm, I guess I could a normal summon. I did destroy back row. Ah well. Everything for a house is expensive. Yes, yes it is. Door handles shock me the most. Because I, I bought all my doors, my doors for the house. I still need to buy two more. Um, that's kind of expensive. And then I thought, oh, I'll just buy all the door handles now. How expensive can door handles be? So I bought nine door handles, which is technically 18 because there's one on each side of the door. And then obviously, and then I bought the latch pack with it, which is the, the things that hold the door in place, the latches. And then three of them are locks for the bathrooms as well. <laughs> Come to six hundred pounds for door handles for nine. I couldn't believe it. You might be dead. I think so too. It depends. They'll probably go for. Uh, well, they might be afraid of Nibiru. So if they try and go without playing, making access code talker, we have a chance. How much was the house? It's a personal question. I can't answer that. It was enough. They can't make access with Princess? Oh, they can only go into fire. I imagine he'll definitely read the field spell. Like, there's no way he doesn't. Oh my god, he didn't. Wait, they've got a um, thingy in the grave. Uh, a Balinx. Oh. Maybe they'll think it's just a one-off? Yep. <laughs> oh no. Maybe they'll think it's just a two-off. You know? Oh, you're going to read it now, Paul. <laughs> we got this twice. Last time we had three attacks, yeah. We didn't get as many this time. To be fair, there's a lot of text on Golden Castle of Stromberg. Let's not lie. You see once per turn, standby phase, face down, special summon, setting, you can only use, and then you want to... When an opponent's monster declares an attack, destroy the attacking monster. If you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack of the monster that had on the field. Oh my god. Right, we're going to lose 10 cards on the top of the deck. I'd love to top deck... Um, Bigfoot. They could have made a heat Leo. Mm. 
Mm. Might have to risk the allure. Oh, they've got a face down um, Salmon Great Roar, don't they? Rage. Ah, lost Stromberg. Any thoughts on the new ban list? Uh, pretty underwhelming. Um, Kashtira Unicorn to two is okay. Um, Dogmatica Punishment to two or something. I, uh, uh, okay, I guess it hurts like Labyrinth in a way, but why not just hit Labyrinth? You know, didn't hit Snake Eyes in any way, shape, or form from what I could see anyway. Um. I like that the, that rainbow pendulum monster went to one, but it was a pretty trash ban list, if I'm honest. Come on, no whammies. I can't know some glyph. Dear seven a lot in stun and brand. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, I don't mind stun being here. That's okay. You can hit that as much as possible. Oh, and a dear servant. Sorry. Yeah. Kshiri unicorn was a snake eye hit technically. Buff has gone up to two. Oh, they got me. I think I'm done. Yeah, dump kick Kalos. I thought they'd hit a lot more. I'm not gonna lie. Or, you know, just do a little bit more to some decks. Oh, I live? Oh. I don't even got to survive that. I think they've got Salomon Great Raw face down. Well, let's find out. I don't think I'm surviving end of a turn. I think they've got Bailings in the graveyard as well. Oh. Oh, I could have started with that. And I also think I should have hit that. Oof. Oof. I thought um, the field spell needed to be on the field to use this effect. That's how little I summon Glyph. Glyph. Oof. I think they would have got me still, wouldn't they? Oh no, no, we could have survived. Yeah, should have done that the other way around. Didn't even hit Fossil Diner or Calamity Lock. Yeah, I know. Let's put Fossil Diner to one and put Calamity to zero. No one likes it. Big post DC Cup analyst. Today we learned. We did. We learned not to do that. I play Calamity in TG, and I know it's not the best way to use it. And fair. Fair, fair, fair. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to shotgun 
shifter, aren't I? Oh. Do I just shotgun it now? I'm doing it. Did the sushi grow? <gasps> it's wobbling. Ah! Oh, I'm doing a video on these. I learned how to say the names properly. I know, I, I think it was Tamias sent me the uh, the proper way, but I watched the episodes and I've phonetically written them out. Are you ready? Okay. This is how I thought I said them. Earth and Immortal, Asalapiscu, Kapaku Apu, Karakuria, Chaku Kalua, Kusilu Uru, Rawachka Raska. Right, after watching the episodes, Hold on, I need to zoom in. I, my eyesight's so bad. Asila, Earthbender Mortal, Asila Piscu, Earthbender Mortal, Coca Pak Apu, Earthbender Mortal, Coca Ria. Sounds right. Earthbender Mortal, Chaku Chalua, <laughs> Earthbender Mortal, Kusalu, Earthbender Mortal, Uru. Uru, <laughs> Uru Becky, uh, Earthbound Immortal, Rua, Rua, Wira, Quacha, Raska. That's the proper way to say their names. It's so hard. Ooh. Wait, they sent their Lady Labyrinth away? Ooh. Whoa, it's different. What's this? KMP underscore Robinator. Thank you for the 215 bits. That is a very interesting number. Thank you very much. Also, I've never seen this. You've got like like a bits thing at the top. Is it copying? Is that what um the thing from YouTube that it's doing? It doesn't matter what it is. Thank you so much for the 215 bits. Thank you for supporting the channel. I like hearing that little elf noise thing. When do you trigger? Immediately draws the out. Hop up. What determines what's weakening everything? Oh, okay. What deck would I suggest for Master Store currently? Mm. I don't know. Unchained. Unchained is about to get a ton of support. Um, I think that's probably the right the right time to pick Unchained up, and it's fun. KMP is just a clan name. Nothing too crazy. Oh, <laughs> no worries. Thanks for the ball, by the way. Appreciate it. Whoa. Labyrinth. I did wonder what it was. Sword Soul, not a bad shout. Chen Ying, very good. I love that all these uh, Labyrinth stuff is getting banished. It's beautiful. Change of hearts. Come to me. Right. Okay, that was enough for him. That was enough for him to say, no, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> Change of heart there, lady. Done. Done and dusted. 
Out of interest, what is everybody playing at the moment? And you know the deck that you're playing at the moment? Is it just your favorite deck that you're that you just can you keep playing? Is it like a, a month long deck? Like how do you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh actually? As a content creator, I do one deck every month and I play something different every month. Um like what do you guys do? Do you just play a deck until you get bored? Do you wait for the, like new decks to come out and you slip switch to them and stuff? What do you guys get up to? I, don't, I never ask. How are you all doing? <laughs> Virtual World, favorite deck, branded. Playing Slifer, sick. Infernoble, I love Infernoble a lot. Runic and whatever. Uh, I just make decks when I feel like making them and then I play for a while. Blazing Snake Eyes using Blaze Phoenix and Ignition. Beast with Super Poly, that and Vanquish Soul. Hold on, something's in the graveyard. Ooh. I wouldn't mind a snow ban. Snow ban would have been alright. I just returned to older decks I had before, and they seem viable. I really like Virtual World and Drytron. They've only got two Shirens, right? Two of everything. What was that? Joe Pish, just thank you very much for the replay. I'm pretty sure I turned the sound off for those, but never mind. It's still there. Thank you, thank you. We'll watch it after this. I've gone from vampire deck to lab. I use whatever. Zombie World, I've used them ever since I was in middle school, and I just keep trying to keep them alive. Zombie World's a great card. I don't blame you. And I really like... Um, Alderock, very good card. Stubborn Dragon Player. Dragon Maid, Dragon Maids is a go-to, good one. I'm playing Manadium. Several iterations of your deck for months, but occasionally play other things. Oh, no way. That's cool. My friend put me onto something terrible. Smash two decks that have zero synergy together and try to make it work. <laughs> like, um... I don't know. What, what, what two things would you smash together that wouldn't work? Elemental Heroes and Labyrinth. <laughs> Cyber Dragons. Nice. I approve. You can target one monster control, special one to. Hmm. I wonder if I should have Nibiru'd there. Eight cards go into the graveyard. Oh my god. Here we go. Is that the Golden Lord? My goodness. Why are they making snow? Okay. Transaction roll back in the grave. I saw it. <laughs> That's actually fine. I'm okay with that. I ain't got no spells in my hand. <laughs> oh no. Uh, to be honest with you, I thought we were going to end their turn there. I didn't know there was more. 
Do they still have a fusion left in the deck? I feel like they've milled everything. Rhino Heart. He doesn't want a deck. Clearly. Oh, okay. There's a Tuna on the field. Okay. Mmm. 3,200 defense. I mean, it's not like they can make... On the Biru now. Ooh, you know what they've still got? I probably should have let him cook for a bit longer. Yeah. Because they've still got... Snow they can bring back. And Zephyros. This guy does not want a deck, I'm just saying. <laughs> and they've got a normal summon. Oh god, no. This could be bad. No, we can't send a face down monster. Bad mill from. Wolf, nice. <laughs> this guy's got five cards left in his deck. I'm sure he must know what he's doing. It's his deck after all. 3,000 life points. 4-8. He could make Michael the Light Arc Swarm. Orlo Savage Dragon. Fair. I have the answer for that. He's going for access. This could be bad. I feel like I should have waited now. Maybe it's not too bad, actually. Tuna's back. Four, eight. Bro does not want a deck. What is this? He said any more cards of his deck. Is this a self-destruct deck? Is there something I'm missing? What? Do you think it's turn two? Because I got a monster on the field, maybe? I'm so confused. Oh, he has a shuffle in the grave? Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Keldo. Is there a Mid Medora in there as well? Oh, and a Medora. Medora's the first card he sent to the grave. I never noticed. Thirteen hundred life points, though. Like he has to be really optimistic. I'll be honest. Troublesome. Troublesome. Uh, we've. Oh no no! IP is an issue. So. Oh, and they have snow. And they've done what to me, sorry? Deck Devi. Okay. Transaction rollback sucks, by the way. Why why would they make that a card? So the issue is literally because snow's in the graveyard. Snow can, I can win, but snow will cost me the duel. Special summon this with a ton of attack points, attack into that, and then well, I can get rid of that, but Mm. 
No, S snow, will, snow will cost me the door. Like, I can deal with IP there, but that's it. How many cards have got banished? None. Yes, no. There, there's nothing else I could have done. Just maybe they, maybe they've got so much stuff activating in the graveyard they just forget. That's a shame as well. Exactly, game. 50, 50 life points over. How do you get one con on top of his deck as well? I never noticed. It's my fault. I should have held on to my Nibiru for a bit longer. I didn't know how much they could cook, to be honest with you. It's uh, it my own fault. Strudo was in the deck. Oh. Let's see. Oh, it was a shame to lose that one. We're in a win-loss phase at the moment. Joa, thank you for the replay. Appreciate it. We are number one. Previous Stoolers Cup, Venal Sylph, Naturia versus Sprite Twins. Two, previous Stoolers Cup, Venal Sylph, Naturia versus Flu. Three, previous Stoolers Cup, Venal Sylph, Naturia versus Punk. Punk Zombie World for Tomahawk Turbo versus Vanquish. Um, sprites. Forty nine gift boxes. Damn, it's just loads of random bits and pieces. That's all sorts. It's because um, I think I had nearly 10,000 when the Duelist Cup came on. Ooh, am I going second? Let's negate. Gigantic Sprite, Special Summon. Elf on the shelf, get the starter. Starter, get the red. Sprite Elf. Evil Twin Keats a kill. Bring back red. Bring back, I assume it's called Leela. Myers! Think of the replay, we'll watch after this. McCracker. Nice. Ooh, he just dumped in evenly, I watched that. Right, so they can bring back a monster to destroy a card on your side of the field. They can protect their fiends with Muckcracker. Sprite Elf will protect Muckcracker and Carrot. Carrot will negate a spell. Red will negate a monster, and Droll will stop you from drawing. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, could they not red? Woofed. Cherry Beast, okay. Your little dog thing's going mental, by the way. Muckcracker kept it alive. Some flower negate. Camellia is back. Okay. Opponent can't use spells. Opponent summons. The Camellia summons the flower back. Added a spell. Unlucky. If you must screen it. Ooh, I guess they could Underworld get us the closed world. They're not locked into level twos or anything. Never mind. Trap. 
Triple Cindy. I remember when Nachuria was like a joke, like where Beast and Barkyam are like the only good cards. And I guess uh, the, the very big one, I forgot its name. Now they're insane. What's the... Naturia Beast, Naturia Barkyan, that's spells, that's traps. Exterior, exterior, that's the one. The new support saved it, yeah, definitely. Psychic End, oh my god. Oh my god! Up, 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 up. Woof. <laughs> well done. Joanne, thank you very much for the replay. Old gameplay, though. No, that's all right. We take those. Uh, raining heavily. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, even if Joey Wheeler won the raw card from Marek, I wonder if he will be able to gain Ra's respect or not. Hmm. Well, I was watching the Japanese version where Odeon and Marek are talking about stuff. And they're on about the Egyptian god um, allegiances kind of thing, where... They'll only follow someone that has some form of connection to like millennium items or to ancient Egypt and stuff. So I guess it is a funny one to say if Ra would obey. I mean, String summoned Slifer, but he was under Marek's mind control. And Kaiba summoned Obelisk. But there was ancient Egyptian heritage, I guess. So that's fair. Fourth from bottom. Oh, one, two, three, four. Versus Sky TGU. At the time, Snake Eyes was a bit new, and I bought this nasty deck back to teach them a <laughs> teach them a lesson. Devil Kappa. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I was knocked out of tournament by this. Fish. Umi control, some may say. Fire versus water. Worm and aliens. That'd be kind of cool. I do like that one worm card where it looks like the moon, but it's like melting and it looks really sick. Landois. Something about weather painters going on over there. What's this? Meow meow moo. How are you as well as this afternoon? As is your day going well? Being really silly right now. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Fish sonar. Get the jellyfish. Pot of prosperity. No. Maybe. No. Oh, no. Yeah, you can get the field spell with that. Atlantis discard. Legendary Ocean. Sea Stealth 2. Electric Boogaloo. Apollosa. One, two, three. And the Kurakara Search. Simple Spool Search. Legendary Ocean. Have to get everything but one card. Not sure why he chose that monster, but it's okay. Right, we've won. I mean, they need to get out two monsters, right? Oh, no, I guess they can put one of your monsters in the back row, can't they? With their spell. Fair enough. So then, under no floodgate anymore. We needed a sea stealth attack to keep it safe. God, Snake Eyes is cracked. Ow. Ouch. Ah. We're alive, though.
Joey got one of the dragon cards in season four. Yeah, but it's because Homos looked like him. <laughs> Actually, don't know how that worked. Were they like ancestors or something? Well done. Have a fulfilled wipe. Are the monsters in the back row going to the graveyard as well? Or was that just me? Do they count as monsters on the field? He stole your carry you shit. No way. Oh, I can't target it because it's Umi 2. Electric Boogaloo. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, ah, ah. But why read when you can attack? <laughs> See, stealth attack is your uh, golden castle of Stromberg. See, stealth attack number two. Negated and attack boost. Yeah, we're in control of this duel now. Uh huh. Still wants to attack. Okay. Tobias loves the control-based decks. Yeah. He likes control. Uh, Tobias, well done. You show it to those uh, Snake Eyes players. I like it. Please don't use uh, Umi Control on me, though. It'd be sad. To be fair, he did say that was uh, Snake Eyes had just come out. So there might be just learning the deck. Oh, wait a second, please. What's the name of that serpent monster? Uh, Snake Eyes Flameberg. Flamberg. Flamberg is a type of sword, if I remember correctly. Ooh. Is it okay, hey? I'm playing a lot of Tealament lately. How come? Seems to be quite popular at the moment. Or are people just using Tealament as an engine a lot? For like Labyrinth and stuff. Return back to Stun Tunes. <laughs> Toxic Tunes. Tier is Tier 2. Oh. Uh, seven, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Doing okay, thank you. Doing all right, doing all right. Mill one, guaranteed mill. Mill three, and then isn't this going to mill something as well? Mill two, three, four, five. So six cards going to the graveyard now. Snow's in the grave again. I can't wait to deal with that. I mean, we've got Jerusalem though, so. I wonder if it's some snow to. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's his grave gone though. Just that—that that seems excessive to me. I don't know. I guess he can make um, Baguska. I'm sure he's got more players though. Did he reach master? I did. I did. That SP monster in the corner that Jay Paint is got as his icon. It looks like Gretel Gretel Mark II from Time Splitters. Just saying. 
Did he just send uh, Havness without fusing? No, no, he sent Havness. There's Havness. He's trying to fuse, but I'm trying to Druid Swarm it away. And then he's used Snow. Is Steel Banish with Havness? Yeah. But he's going to use Snow to get rid of it instead so I don't summon the Druid Swarm. I think. Okay, we won. Nice. We take those. Come on, we just want three wins in a row. Let me climb. Mm -mm -mm. Fandango. Nice hand. If Maxi resolves, it's even better. The runics scaring me a little. It's all right. It's just snake eyes again. Mm, I'm not going to shotgun Maxi. You never know. Even though I know he's going to inherently summon what's it. Yeah. Black Witch. I don't worry about Gamma anymore. <laughs> Poplar. Original Sinful Spoils. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, this is me now. Three mysterious cards in hand. Is any of them Ash Blossom, Call By, or Cross Out? Multi card deck, it's possible. Called By. Well, at least I can't get max seed. Is Snake Eyes now the new meta? Yes. Yes, it is. It's Snake Eyes, Labyrinth, and what would a third deck be at the moment? Branded? Someone said Tier Limits somewhere. Maybe Tier Limits. Cash Tira. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cash as well. I, I, I barely played Super Heavy. I haven't played Super Heavy uh, in probably about two weeks. Half Mech. Yeah, Math Mech's still strong. I just don't play it as much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Made a Snake Eyes deck so I could try to climb, but I don't find it fun to play at all. I mean... It's a cool deck, the way it plays and everything. I get a bit jaded because I get a bit sick of playing the same deck over and over again. Especially ones that do the same combo, I guess. Where we know they're going to make... Oh, I forgot the player. They make... IP, they make, um, oh, okay, this, this is different, this is new and exciting, I'll take that, as long as it's not going to devolve into something toxic, wind-winged beasts, is, I don't know, like, shady stuff some happens sometimes. Burb? I mean, Flamberg. Hard counter with Kashtira. There's the IP. Not too different. 
Earthbound. Thanks to the servants prisoners coming to Mastodor. Yeah, I'm going to do a Earthbound Immortal video soon. I need to look into the, the prisoner stuff. I haven't looked at new supports at all. It's all new and exciting to me. Earthburn mixed with two elements. Very fun. Can do insane boards. Sick. Do you play any of the original Earthburn Immortals? Do they see a little bit of play? Oh, my Earthburn Immortal video from ages ago was so bad. I'm not even saying the names right. So, I'm going to give it another go. Do a proper job of it this time with a new support. And say the names right. That's the big one. In fact, I reckon if I watch my Earthman Immortal video, I'm probably saying Archetype wrong as well. I'm probably saying Archetype. Oh, he's going to make... Um... Oh, I can't... Oh, quick, what's his name before I do it? D Dragon Ra, isn't it? Utopic Future and Dragon Ra? Or something? See if my brain actually does remember stuff. Ah, oh, it wasn't called Dragon Ra. I'm sorry. Utopic Draco Future. Sorry. That is what I meant, though. That is what I meant. Archetype at some point. Yeah. It just looked right. Arch. I don't know. Archetype. Archetype. When um when I went to the Yu-Gi-Oh Invitational, um the announcer his name's Ed from a YouTube channel called uh, Game Hog, but I noticed that every time Ed said duel, like a Yu-Gi-Oh duel, he would say duel. They like dueled each other. And that seemed really weird to me because I've always said dual with a D rather than like a J, like pronounced with a J. But I think both are right. I think it's just like a pronunciation thing. I think. But I'm going to still say dual. That's how Yugi says it. It's time to dual. It's time to jewel. I don't know. As rum? Room? Rum? Have a jewel on Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, isn't it? Say jewel before. <laughs> nice man. Shame someone regeki it. Is this protected by regeki? Can I be destroyed by battle card effects? Or once per turn when you put activate a monster effect? Hmm. I run both types of FN Immortals with the Sun and Moon Dragons because I like when Goodwin use them in the anime. They are cool. They swap. Gains 500 attack for each material attached to it. For your opponent's special summons a monster, you can attach one material from this card. And take okay. What am I dealing with? We've got a Promethean Princess in the graveyard. All right. Did at any point they add that trap card that negates stuff? Am I supposed to know that's there? Thrusts. Mm. I can steal with triple tactics talent IP when it go when um See what happens. I'll go with the trade in first. Dead called by and Ash. Cool. I I don't know how I'm gonna win this, I'm not gonna lie. 
If you're Regeki first thing, he can't bring back IP fast enough. Yeah, but he's just going to replenish the field, isn't he? I guess. My plan is to just take this, I think. He's going to make Opelousa like that. I'm going to triple tap this for us. Take control of this. Attack into that. And then hopefully profit, I guess. Oh, IP dies. Pretty... Oh, okay. Yeah, I get yeah. I thought he would have left it there. Oh, no, but yeah, he needs to use Flameberg's effect. Oh, I guess I see what you mean. Yeah. He wouldn't have had an opportunity. Both of these survive now. It's a lot of attack, actually. Wicked God deck? They don't have enough support, I don't think. Like... To play him in ranked, oof, I don't know. Field spell the next turn. Oh, okay. This needs to have a little bit less attack, actually. Hmm. I might have to take Pot of Desires instead. Because if I take control of this, attack, Zeus, they'll just negate. I can take control of that, attack into that, and then maybe I can link these two off away. Or I can just risk it with a Pot of Desires. And then just see what I get. Screw it. YOLO. Right, I got a 4,000 attack Grimaju. Still pay the cost. He'll negate with Utopic Future or Opelousa. Can't be strong with battle, right? Oh. It's a nice bit of attack. Don't get me wrong. It's just not enough. <laughs> Hidden 6,900 damage here. Ooh. When I attack Opelousa first, because they would have negated with uh, Draco Future. Could have done that in the battle phase. It would have been the same thing, wouldn't it? Same result. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I got 8,000 attack. Is he going to change a heart me or something? What's this about? Two faces, he's got five cards left in his extra deck. Oh. Whoa. Touche. I 
Tak vem aj. Great Maju, such a menace. Need three monsters to out it. Uh, this is our game. I can summon this, but they'll negate it with Utopic Draco. Ooh, access. GG. Yeah, maybe we should have just regekied first on the first turn. Maybe that was the play. He'll negate with Utopic Draco, and that's game. If any Oplus was once per chain, Zeus might have done something. But I don't understand. If I'd have. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! I see it now. His monster had three materials on it. So if I'd have taken it, attacked, I would have had a four material Zeus. So I could have Zeus, he negates with Oplus, and then I'd have Zeus again because I had four materials. I didn't know. I'd, I didn't realize. That's my bad. I didn't see, I can't, I, what do you think I've got like two eyes? Can't see everywhere. It's content, no worries. You can change this ability multiple times? Yes, you can. Glyph. Fermi Paradox. I have nothing I can discard at the moment. I have one Steel, one Wipe the Field, and one Summon a Level 8 Monster and pop a card on the opponent's side of the field. Oh. Okay. Labyrinth. No. Brick Snake Eyes. No. What could it be? Dynamites, trap tricks. Snake eyes. Mm. That's it, that's all I've got. I don't really want 10 cards banished from the top of my deck, but I think it's just one of them things. Okay, I'll be honest, that was a waste of an Ash Blossom. I didn't even really need to use Glyph's effect. So that works out quite well. All right, their hand is probably Ash, Ash, Droll, Droll. <laughs> Imperm. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> okay, okay. He has sinful spoils. Okay, I didn't call that. Must be the reason why I'm king of this castle. Can't stop Ash. Poplar. Okay, we've got Poplar and two mysterious cards. Hopla. Hopla. They're going to take the original Simple Spoils. Field Spell. 
And then they're going to take the oak, is it? Or do they take Flameberg and put it in the back row? Flameberg. Okay. Oh. And this is Flameberg to the field? No. Oak. This is Poplar back. Is that a witch doctor, doctor reference? I think so. I just know the song. Flumberg. <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice all the names. He can revive all three on the opponent's turn. There's the IP. We've got change of heart for Opelousa. I guess we could have interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I guess we could have interrupted Kaiju Slumber. If we survive, which I'm sure we will. Promethean. <laughs> Can't let to get this turn. If we get to summon IP in draw phase, we slumber. Yeah, we learn from our. It didn't read! <laughs> oh, God, no. Why didn't it die? Oh, he made it with IP. Sorry, I didn't read. I didn't read. He didn't read! <laughs> yes! Yes! I'm so happy. I love it when they don't read. Oh, I can't blow it up. I can't Kaiju Slumber. Flashing field spell means nothing to them. I know it even like highlights it now. It like circles the. Oof. All right, it's my maintenance cost. Mm, that was fine. Okay. Um. Ooh. I see what I've done. I see what I've done. Um. Oh, no. Can you tribute it? I forgot. I can make a phoenix. Um. Oh, no. Why did I do that? As long as he can't pop anything, I'll be okay. Would you make an underworld goddess? God, I hope they get rid of Parisian Princess. Oh man, please send Promethean. He's not, he's gonna get rid of uh, Grimaju. Oh God. Oh, I've thrown this door, I'm sorry. 
Shuffle Gren. Oh, wait. Um, maybe if I Kaiju Slumber. Hmm. Hmm. Kaiju Slumber. Summon the fire onto my side. Summon anything on theirs, and then attack, attack the game. Question mark. You can't slump because that link three. But I have a fire monster in my deck. I have Dogaran, right? I summon Do Dogaran. Unless he got banished. <laughs> no, there's no Dogaran in there. Do you have two Dogaran? But I'm summoning it to his field. He's not locked into anything. No, it's not fair. I'm summoning... A fire to mine and a non-fire to... That's so stupid. That's not fair. Humbug. You're summoning a non-fire. Oh, right. Okay. I see. Yeah, maybe he'll attack. I need to remember that Promethean locks you into fires. I keep forgetting that. That's probably the third time... Just attack. Just go into the battle phase. Yes. Briefing princess into the back row. Attack me. You might go into access code talker. That's my fear. One way to out the fire lock. Is that, oh, is that what he's done? Is that so he can, oh, I see what he's done now, yeah. Now he can do whatever he wants. Attack with Karibo to be sure. Birch. <laughs> Peter. Oh my god. Can he take my Grand Marju? Oh no, he shuffled it into the deck. Thank goodness. Battle phase. Battle phase. I think he's reading. Oh. Access. Celine. That's an access code talker right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GG. Played. Can't compete with that. Can't stand Snake Eyes. <laughs> I'm a bit sick of them as well, don't worry. Ah, oh, I don't deserve to lose this one. I know I threw the duel. It's my bad. I should have just interrupted Kaiju Slumber first. Actually, no, I didn't need to interrupt Kaiju Slumber first. I just needed to play better. There we go. Glitch Aston, thank you for the replay. Oh, 
annoyed me. I threw. Imagine if I was a better duelist. How, how much further could I climb? It's crazy to think about. Imagine if I was good. Glitch Aston, thank you for the replay. Nice Burgor. Uh, either the first two. Second one is Rika. First one is a mess of a deck I'm attempting to climb with next month. That's the one I want to see. I want to see the mess of a deck. Probably still better than me. I don't know. Interesting. Morning Commander. And we're playing a little bit of... Uh, we've got a bit of Slifer in the deck as well, I'm assuming. What's that called? Solemn um, Wishes. I have a Solemn wish Wishes of my own, and it's distinctly got a little tiny rip on it. I've had it for so long. I know exactly where the rip is. Unlucky. I guess we draw a lot with this deck, don't we? Especially with the, the Slifer if we're playing it as well. Nice negate. Alright, 500 life points every time we draw a card now. And we draw one. Do we draw? Do we get 500 life points every time we draw with Maxi? Or is that an urban legend? Yes, we do. And that's all we've got. Four K life. Do you think he'll just enter his battle phase? Well done, keeping yourself in the duel. Joker's Knight, great. We can get back into the duel here, I think. That's a Jack's Knight. Bring to the Arcana, wipe the field. Ooh. All right, that's 25. Every card the opponent has, we gain 500 attack. Whoa, -ho, well done. I wonder why I didn't want to crash there. I wonder if you're... But it works. The Revived Sky God. Okay. Queen's Knight, King's Knight. Line of the Light Charmer. Charmer's effects. Nibiru. Wipe the field. Bring back that monster. I'm curious to see what happens with Revive Sky God and Light Speed Summon here. Thunder Speed Summon. Thunder Speed. Oh, no sets though. Eyeliner. Nice. Uh, I was really hoping to see uh, the, the Slifer and stuff there. Well done. Maybe we should play a life point gain deck. Like Aroma or something. Disgusting. Glitch, thank you very much for the replay. Uh, definitely good luck with that deck, by the way, this month. I hope it does well. It'd be a... Uh... A good incentive to play something like that in the future. Who's the best charmer?
Gameplay wise, it's Dark the Dark Charmer. The best one is probably Heater though. Bit of Heater. Samran Charmers, it's probably Access Code Charmer. <laughs> yes. Should I shotgun Dimension Shifter in the snap? <laughs> okay. I'll allow it. Can I send Shifter? No, okay. I'm glad I didn't shotgun Shifter. At least I have a material for my Allure of Darkness now. Exorcister. Uh, in TCG, people ran area to out their own waterlock when they used Gizmek. Uh, Gizmek Uka to summon water statue against Hulk and Mancipate's combat. Oh, right. So they could link it away. Ah. So area is not too bad either. Maybe try Roma then. Yeah, I think so. Try and gain all the life points. I prefer all the piece of Exodia. Good luck. If he draws all five pieces on the first turn, be suspicious. <laughs> Magnifica. Um, I can summon Alpha. Can I use its effects? I think so. Harpies would be nice. Good enough. That's actually that's pretty decent actually. I'm happy with that. Let's get rid of the dead shifter. Let's get rid of the dead hextrude. Hopefully we don't draw another one. Let's Kaiju Slumber. They'll protect it with something, maybe? No? Oh, the level 8. You can have the level 8 yourself. There you go. Golden Castle. Grand Marju is a shame, but I can't summon it. Extrude. Don't read it. Don't read it. Nice. Tempted. I'm going to go for Thingris Suit. I, I don't know what they've got over there. I'd rather play it safe. Okay, okay. We're fine. That's nice. Ten gems. So good. All right, can we actually keep a streak going? Would you ever do a Q&A on your channel? Um. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done anything like that on the channel. I don't know how it would do. Um... Yeah, I'll do a Q&A. I guess that'd be a good, like... I'll, I'll do my archetype video this week for Monday, the Earth Bounds. And then for my, like, my random video, it goes, like, archetype video, random video, dual analysis. Um, I guess I could do, like, a Q&A or something. Sure. I'll do, like, a, um, a community post saying I'm going to do a Q&A... Oh, God. Actually, no, he would have just chained it to Shifter, wouldn't he?
I guess I could just end my turn. Okay, I think we just summon another, another level 8. What if we whiff though? Whiffed. Is a Rochi game? Five, six, seven. That is game, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. I think I had game there. Enter battle phase, attack, attack, a Rochi, go for game. They must have bricked really hard. Was that actually Cash Tira? Oh, Labyrinth. Okay. So they just play Fenrir. Uh, good. That was 8.50. Thank you. A few misplays and some throwing for the content. Is someone just describing what, what they've missed? <laughs> Labyrinth didn't get a single trap. They must have got... Yeah, they must have got literally all the... Random cards. Okay, it's quite nice. Right. Wait, I guess that works with Snake Eyes, doesn't it? Three level one monsters? Is this Snake Eyes? Oh! What's the better one to take? Is it Rabina or is it Eglin? What would you take? Where do the other ones go? You add one. And the fur oh the fur gets shoved onto the deck. Mm. What do you take, chat? Maxi or Eglin? Uh, sorry, Rabina or Eglin. Whoa! Weetard, thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you for making use of our lovely new little animation thingy. Appreciate it. I hope a picture came up then. Guys, if you got a free gifted sub from Weetard, bro just pops in every now and then. Delivers uh, gifted subs, walks away. Very cool. Cool cool guys don't look at their gifted subs. That old uh, phrase. Uh, Razor Hitoshi, welcome to the stream team. I'm a Terrell. Welcome, welcome. Disc Crab, uh, Josh the Night Fury, and Playmaker. Guys, welcome to the stream team. Weetard, thank you for the five gifted. I appreciate it. Nice Max C you got there. It's as dead as a doornail, I'll admit it. In fact, so is Drew Swarm. Luckily Harpies isn't dead. Whoa! I will now take my leave. We start thank you for the 10 bits. Look at that bit emote. It's beautiful. Ah! I like the noise. I really like the little noise it makes. A little squeak. Adios, chat. Adios, Sam. Adios, sweet tot. Catch you later. Ooh, yeah. Set more. Set more.
I play Harp His Fever Duster. This destroys all spells and traps in your spell and trap zone. Okay. I thought Sam was playing flu for a second. No, no, no. Bucka Moon and Imperm. So, opponent is going to make Apex Avion, right? They want then their gates. I had to guess. Mm, what am I going to Gamma Seal? Probably Avion, right? So I can use Jackalope's effect. Yeah. Yeah. Min C. Each time your opponent normal summons or flips them as a monster, immediately draw one card. <laughs> they should do that. That would be funny. That's actually really balanced as well. Like, any deck could play it because everybody normal summons once per turn. So, like, you'd activate, what did you call it? Minimum C. And then you'd um, draw one card. And then the name works as well, because you're only drawing, like, one card, like, the minimum. And then, like, only where you play against, like, trap tricks, where they get an extra normal summon with their field spell and stuff. It's genius. I like it. Min C. Minimax. I believe in you, Jackalope. I also believe if they've got an, an Ash Blossom, they shotgun it now as a misplay. <laughs> I can see the future. It's so... It's amazing. Oh, what was me? My Jackalope has been negated. Let's try that again. Don't hit Drew Swarm. What? I'm not super happy with how that played out. I'm not going to lie. Bad rabbits. Oh, no. Mm. I can make a link too with no effects. I can normal summon Drew Swarm, attack into that. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna get rid of special summon monsters. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, nah, I can't deal with it. It's just going to half my attack. Nah, there's there's nothing I can use with Lee Bally on the deck. I didn't put anything in there. Is it even worth putting that in defense?
Yeah, I'll just keep it. Toggle off, because I can't keep dealing with the maxi play thing. Robina. Rabina into Eglen. I mean, Empen. I mean, Eglen. Eglen was right the first time. Oh, it's Tree, sorry. He wants his Apex Avion back. It's the Banish from Graveyard one, isn't it? Yeah. Do we two bestials? Yeah, we just used Lubelion and Drusworm. And then, I don't think they're worth it. I quite like Drusworm. I think I'd rather have Drusworm and um, the other one. The other one that's limited to one. And then just leave Lubelion out of the deck. I don't know why. They don't even synergize the deck. Oh, I, I know where this is in. This was level 8. That's why that was there. The heart of plot armor. Yeah, they got me. Magma Hurt. That's the one. What's his name? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that game? Two, four, no. Final turn, what will we draw? Nice, Thunderbird. Oh. Um. Mind the bestial monster. It doesn't do anything from those. Any problem. There's your Rubina back. Who's on the top of the deck? What a misplay. No. How has this happened? I'll put it on the top of the deck. I should have added it. You don't have nothing. Can I do anything with this? I can make this thing. Oh, um... Two level eights. Uh, random... Randominity VT. Thank you for 10 bits. Uh, to Jish, you should do an Odeon only trap deck as a cool challenge. Do you accept? A trap only deck? I feel like we could do that. I feel like we could make that work. Okay, I think what we do is we go defense. Really growing out of beard. I will trap it off eventually. I feel like I'm getting ready to do it. Like I'm getting myself ready for it. No worries. I think I can go into Zeus.
Pain Gainer. That feels like a Nibiru. That little... A little delay. Oh, maybe I should have kept Maxi in my hand now. No! Oh, okay, we gotta wave it. Pain gainer could have just popped. Why are you swimming the max C? I don't know, because I've got insane. End phase? I guess I don't need to wipe the field now. Like, that's not doing anything. And that can't do anything just yet either. Like a Viking, Red Storm Stromberg. <laughs> Rob Bramistry. Did he crow? Did he get his crow back? Oh, he did, yeah. Oh, no, he's got another one. Mm, do I immediately Zeus? Two cards left in hand. Heal normal, normal. I guess I Zeus now. And then when he normal summons, normal summons again. Tries to summon the big one. Oh, I think that's okay. Take it a gamble. Yeah. And then he adds Eglin. Oh, damn, he's getting everything back. And then we just need to get rid of two monsters before he can get a third monster out. Oh, I guess he can do that because he's got loads in his hand now. He's definitely got Apex... Oh no, Apex Avian's there. I think that's a misplay. I think I should have waited for M Pen to come out. Because he's he could just he'll normal summon another monster now. He'll get another normal summon. He'll normal summon another monster now. Yeah. Should have waited. Just pulled a Royal Shooting Star Dragon TGX. Well done. We take those. Kika BG, thank you for the 10 stream streak. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought we'd have a normal summon. Oh, I can't win. I'm going to call it now. We've lost. What a shame. Oh, 
odd. Uh, sh they'll take the tribute card, probably. The continuous, yeah. This game. Tribute my monster, tribute his monster, summon M Pen, and that's game. See, I quite like GX, but that's for like a nostalgia reasons, I guess. Even though I guess there's a lot of ups and downs in GX. 5Ds is probably better. I've still never watched it continuously all the way through, and I still need to get past um, the World Rally GP. I still need to finish it off. But I have a lot of nostalgia for the Dual Monster series as well. That's game. And Flandre is a nightmare to play against. Alden Mersati. GG, GG. Ooh, look at that. Poor form. Do -do 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 -do. Mm. Got two wins there. I think this might be the highest this can deck can climb. I'm starting to get that feeling without like drastically altering it, you know? I've changed my mind mind about the the bestials. But I like them. I think that's enough month. 30 monsters is enough. 20 spells. I can put two more spell cards in. What should we put? No more monsters. I want spells. We got. I could always craft another Regeki. And then I got two Regekis. Trade ins. Allure. Lightning Storm. Could make Lightning Storms. Evenly. Oh, yeah. So that's not a. Not a bad shout. Concentrating Current. Foolish Burial. Mm, foolish burial to send Gizmeka Roach to the grave, I guess. Mm, it's just for one card, though. Regeki a Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn. I guess the only problem is we're trying to go for OTK a little bit, I guess. Dark Hole. Yeah. I'm into it. Two Dark Holes. You know what? If I had Dark Hole in the Flanderies game, I might have done a bit better, actually. Who knows? Yeah, I, we don't really want to lose our battle phase, I guess. We're trying to win first turn, if we can. <laughs> oh, I thought there was two uh, Dark Holes in my hand then. Allure looked just like it. Okay, we got one. I don't want to be Calamity Locked. I really don't. I can't be bothered. It's so unfair. Bone Archfiend. I could do the Archfiend archetype for a video. Got a lot of new support. They don't really Calamity Lock. I thought they do. I thought they go um, Crimson Dragon. 
Oh, no, no, they get the, the continuous trap and the continuous spell out, don't they? And they can just keep recycling everything. So they'll get Hot Red Dragon Arch Fiends. The Spell and Trap. And then some other stuff. Cosmic Cyclone is decent. This deck doesn't like back row decks. And Banishing Lab cards can be even more valuable now. True. Very true. Two negates. To be fair, I've got two draw cards, a dark hole. Mm. This patter. Red Dragon Archfiend. Calamity Speed Spell 4. Oh my god. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. So that can negate a card of the field. I guess I'll try and glyph to the field spell. Use the field spell's effect. See if they negate with Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. At least I have the, the field spell on the field. Are you winning, son? Um, it's very 50-50 today. 50-50 at the moment. All right. Crimson Gaia. When Raging and Archfiend declares an attack, you can change all monsters you put on controls to face down defense. If a monster on the field is destroyed by all card effects, you can special summon a Red Dragon Archfiend from your graveyard. Okay, so when I wipe the field, they go Red Dragon Archfiend. Nice, red zone. An opponent activates a card or effect while you control Red Dragon Archfiend or a synchro monster mentions it. You can target one card of the field, destroy it. You can target one card of your... Okay. Okay. Favorite sign of dragon? I quite like Black Rose. Black Rose Dragon. I think it's cool. Obsessive Vua Loop. Alright. I remember Jack Atlas playing that, but sure. Woof. Okay, so Kaiju Slumber first gets negated by Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. Resonator Engrave has Destruction Protection. Oof. For the whole field? Dark Hole. I guess maybe I could have baited with the Lure of Darkness. Sick. That's not even... What does it protect? <clears throat> That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, oh yeah? <laughs> Those dark holes, my goodness. Let's try this again. Oh no, wait, uh, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. It hasn't used effect. Okay, it has used effect. Okay, I couldn't remember. Let's try this again. Nice. I guess he's Red Dragon Archfiend back. Super Poly would have hit good there. Alright, Pot of Desires. Banish 10. Draw 2. Um, how many times can it float? Mm. You know that trap? Did he have to have a monster on the field? Hot zone, whatever it's called. Red zone. 
While you control Red Dragon Archfiend. Okay, cool. So, Red Zone is turned off. <laughs> All three monster destruction spells. That's pretty good, right? Regeki Dark Hole and Kaiju Slumber. I believe in you, you fat snake. I believe you'll discard Dogoran. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yes! Good mill. And you'll draw me... Ooh, not bad. Bolden Snake. You've done well. Too many destruction smells? No, that was just enough. It's perfect. Um, attempt to hit red zone or hit this. I'll go for that. Oof, okay. That's red zone then. Oof. Should I take Red Dragon Arch Fiend, this patter, or Hot Red Dragon Arch Fiend? I think I'd rather have Hot Red. Oh. Use the effects. You can target one of your banished Dark Synchro Monsters. Special summon it. Oh, okay. Nice. Out of interests. Until the end of this turn. I got no tuners in my grave. Unlucky. And I can I can negate one of these things. We open out space color effect. I I guess I have to negate Crimson Gaia, I guess. I don't know. That's okay. Uvaloop and Red Zone will get them Dispatter back. Maybe they won't read my field spell <laughs> again. <laughs> Technically, I've used its effect this turn, so they can't use it again. No, it just resets. Okay, whatever. No! <sighs> I don't think I like Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. Once per turn per player. Where does it say that? Quick effect, you can target one face. You can only use each effect of Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss once per turn. Where's the per, per player bit? But I thought if... So... If my opponent has Bronde Fleur, I activate Regeki. 
My opponent uses Brande Fleur's effect to negate the card. I activate Trouble Tactics Talent, take control of my opponent's Brande Fleur. My opponent flips up Imperm. I can't use Brande Fleur's negate ability because I've it, the effect's already been used. Brande's one swell face up. Oh god. Yu-Gi-Oh, right? <laughs> That's my bad. Word in. Okay. You can only use each effect of Bestial Dispatter once per turn. Oh! You can only use each effect of Hot Red Dragon Archfiend once per turn. Show me one that isn't. You can only use this effect once per turn. So it's just Brande Fleur. My one example was a bad example. God, I wish you worked. It don't work, bro. Promise. GG. It's a shame I can't add a Gizmeka Rochi. I think it's probably light or something, isn't it? Pass say once per turn, do this, or once while face up. Can be stolen, but cannot be reused that turn. Okay. Okay. I thought I had that one. I really did. Win, loss, win, loss, win, double loss, double win, double loss. Law of Averages states that I'm going to get a win now. Destiny Hero Deck. Cure. Doodle doodle doo. That's in right hand. Back row destruction, double back row destruction, or a monster destruction. <sighs> okay, at least we got harpies. Ha ha, they're playing that band card. That's gonna go to one. Soon, hopefully. Soon. Oh, they're gonna rip a card from my hand. I hope they hit Gamma Seal or Allure. Please don't hit Desires, Harpies, or Storm. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Nice. I play Lightning Storm. I destroy all spells and traps on your side of the field. Welcome, Labyrinth. Okay. They set rollback. I didn't see. I don't think they did. They did not know. Cool by. Please don't hit Desires or Thunderbird. It happens. All right. Okay. Can he dodge with this? Maybe. I mean, this is freshly gone to the grave, hasn't it? Has it? No. Cool. 
Summon that, summon this, guaranteed two level eights. Risk the Bigfoot. Mm, I'll risk it. For the biscuit. <laughs> no. Stupid thing to do. Stupid. Thanks for money. I don't play dangers. It's Gambaru. Um. Yeah. Dingesu. Send Kaiju. Summon Pain Gainer. What have they got? What what, what can they? I do have a Zeus in this deck, right? How did I get that wrong? You didn't attack? I definitely attacked. Oh. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I can do 4,000 damage instead of 3 now. <laughs> Alright, leave me alone. Alright? <laughs> what time is it? It's a long day. I'm wrapping up. You know what? I'm going to end on that. That's fine. That's fine with me. Uh, chat, thank you so much for joining the stream. That was clearly a sign of my creeping dementia coming in to, to ruin my life. So we'll just end there on a high. Chat, thank you very much for watching the stream. You've all been absolutely awesome. Thank you for your gifted subs, your follows, everything. I appreciate it. Um, we will do a stream tomorrow. Sorry, a stream Saturday. And that will be a dual room. And if I can be bothered, I'll do one tomorrow as well for replay day. Wh whichever order I normally do. If it's replay day, dual room, or dual room replay day. We'll see how things go. Okay. <laughs> Don't let dementia creep up on you, I'm telling you. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching the stream. You've all been awesome. Catch you later. New video on Monday, hopefully. Or Tuesday. Hopefully Monday.